Hey, welcome to Rockley, YouTube's best channel for record collectors. This week, I want to talk about a new product that has solved a very frustrating pet peeve of mine when it comes to vinyl. And I got a record of the week for you and some vinyl pickups coming up. Get ready for Rockley, bringing music to you. Rockley, rock and roll, metal and country too. Get ready for the record of the week. Get ready for Rockley. Stable 33.33 has developed a product to solve a pet peeve of mine when it comes to record collecting. And that is the center hole being too small. I think we've all come across it. You get a new record or used, you go to put it on your turntable, and it won't fit on the spindle. Uh, so you apply more pressure, you try to wiggle it, work it down, or we grab a pencil or a paintbrush handle, uh, something and something to wedge in there and try to pry the opening wider uh, in order to get the record down on the spindle. Staple 33.33 has developed the vinyl center hole reamer. This product is made from Delrin, from what I understand has very similar properties to vinyl. The way Delrin feels and looks, I, th I thought it was anodized aluminum, but I spoke with the owner of Staple 33.33 and he informed me that it was actually machined from Delrin. Uh, it has a walnut insert that's laser engraved with the Stable 33.33 logo and the owner's initials uh, there as well. And he is the owner and designer of this product. The cap has a magnetic closure, um, so with just a little bit of force it pops off. Very satisfying lifting and closing. Um, but once you have the cap off, you'll see the stainless steel blade kind of works like the reverse of a uh, pencil sharpener. So you place the blade into the uh, center hole opening and uh, give it a few spins. Uh, then you flip the record over and the same procedure. Insert the blade into the center hole, turn until the body is flush with the paper label. Uh, remove. Uh, you can remove the debris, place it on your spindle, and begin enjoying your music. I've used it on several of my records uh, that I've had issues with the center hole, and again, just a few turns and frustration over. Problem solved. Currently, it's priced just under $40 USD. Uh, it's listed as $49.95 Canadian on the Stable 33.33 website. And Stable 33.33 is not a sponsor of this video. Reach out and contact uh, with the owner after I had already purchased the product. Um, I was just so impressed. The center hole being too small was one of my biggest pet peeves that now uh, with this product, it's no longer an issue. Very, very impressed with this, and I highly recommend picking one up. This is just done with elegance, high craftsmanship, and does the job far, far better than a pencil. So, highly, highly recommend it. So, Record of the Week is Ozzy Osbourne's Ordinary Man. This just came out recently. Uh, you guys know I'm a big Ozzy fan. This definitely has that classic Ozzy sound. Definitely large touch of modern production. But we have a lot of guests on this. Uh, Slash, Elton John. It's a very m moody record for Ozzy. More of a, a personal tone to this record. It's... Not my favorite Ozzy record by any means, even in the modern Ozzy era, but definitely a solid effort. Uh, and I've been listening to it a lot and uh, trying to get um, more into it and see if it'll grow on me more. Uh, definitely don't hate it, but uh, I think it's worth a listen. Uh, if you, even if you're a casual Ozzy fan, uh, there's definitely some good tracks on here. I. Uh, Especially like the Under the Graveyard and Straight to Hell tracks that he released as singles. Uh, just a, a solid, solid effort and uh, recommend giving it a spin. All right, now it's time for some recent pickups. First, I have Motley Crue's Too Fast for Love. Motley Crue 
stereotypical hair metal from the 80s that for the longest time I just avoided. Hair metal was always just so cheesy to me. Over time, I've realized that not everything I listen to needs to be critically acclaimed and have these deep, meaningful lyrics. And Too Fast for Love is not what I would call uh, thought-provoking, but it's just fun. Uh, it's just a fun listen. This uh, reissue just sounds phenomenal. It's just one of those records that when it's sounding its best, to me, it, it really uh, it starts to click for you. So I highly recommend this reissue. Motley Crue's definitely grown on me over the past couple years, and as of now, uh, this might be my favorite. Uh, next up, we have the Friends of Hell by Witchfinder General. Uh, they're a doom metal band. I believe this was released in 1983. Probably most well known for their cover. However, the, the music is good too. If you're not familiar with Witchfinder General, uh, and you like that Black Sabbath, kind of metal, the doom aspect of it, they uh, kind of take that and run with it and explore it and uh, definitely recommend it if you like the uh, doom metal genre. This is another one by Nevermore, The Obsidian Conspiracy. I uh, really, really like this one. Like I said, Nevermore is definitely one of the heavier uh, bands that I really enjoy. This one is not that easy to find, but was able to score a copy for a decent price and uh, really, really been enjoying it. So this one, Worldane, Shadow Work. Worldane is the, or was the lead vocalist for Nevermore before he passed away. This was his, or going to be his first solo record. However, when he passed away, they went ahead and uh, finished producing what they had and released this. It's different from the Nevermore discography. I haven't really grown to like it that much yet. Glad to have it in my collection and you know, hopefully it'll grow on me, but uh, I, I still love Worldane. It's work with Nevermore. This one's not bad to have. Well, that's it for this week, guys. I know I've been gone for a little while. I took a vacation. I'm hoping to get back into the flow and start making these videos a little more consistently for you. I'd love to know what you think about Ozzy's new record, the Vinyl Reamer by Stable33.33. If you pick one up, please let me know. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below. Um, I don't get any kickback from it. Uh, like I said, I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I think it's a great product and definitely worth picking up. So you just had a healthy dose of broccoli, and I'll see you next time.